Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the ESP32 software serial in your Arduino project. But before we discuss about ESP32 software serial, let's discuss first what is serial in general and how it applies to an Arduino Uno board. So, what is serial communication? And why do we need to understand how to use it in our project? In simple terms, Serial communication is the process of sending data one bit at a time between a sender and a receiver. In Arduino programming, we mostly use this protocol to communicate with other devices such as the GSM module, the GPS module, or other microcontrollers. One term that is commonly used together with serial communication is UART or Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. UART is a specific hardware communication protocol that defines how data is transmitted serially between devices. The speed at which bits are transferred between the sender and the receiver is called the baud rate. If you have worked with your Arduino Uno before, then you're quite familiar with the RX and the TX pin on your device. This is the same UART pins that we're gonna be using when we want to communicate with another serial device. For example, if you want to communicate with your GPS module, then all you have to do is just con connect the RX to the TX and the TX to the RX pin of both devices. Then we are able to initiate serial communication between the two devices. So, where does software serial comes into the picture? Imagine you're working on an Arduino Uno project wherein you need to get the GPS location of your device and at the same time you wanted to send the data into your Internet of Things server so you need to communicate with two serial devices. Unfortunately, the Arduino Uno contains only one hardware UART port which is the TXRX0 and one GPIO pins. To work around with this problem then you can use what we call as the software serial which will allow you to create a virtual UART port where you could send or receive a serial communication with your device. So how does software serial works? In software serial, we are using your other GPIO pins of your microcontroller to act as a virtual UART port. In this manner, we could add multiple UART ports to your microcontroller especially if you're using an Arduino Uno where there is only one hardware UART. Everything in software serial is implemented using software, so the sending and the receiving of the serial messages are handled by the, so the software serial code. Now, let's go and discuss how software serial is implemented in our code. If you are using an Arduino Uno, then it's really simple. All you have to do is just include the software serial library. So for the Arduino ADR, the software serial is already included by default. So you don't have to include an, any additional library. And the next thing that you have to do is just declare a software serial object and then pass in the receiver and the transmitter pins. In my case in here, I am using the pin 6 and pin 7 for me to communicate with my GSM SIM 900. I know that the SIM 900 is already an obsolete module, but in our case here, uh, this is just for demo purposes, and to where I live, the 2G module or the cellular networks is still supporting the 2G network, so I'm still using this one. After initializing the software serial, then all you have to do is to initialize the baud rate here. So as you can see, I have set the baud rate for my GSM C900 into 9600 and now you can start communicating with your GSM SIM through serial communication by using the software serial object. So this is my current setup where I use the software serial in my Arduino Uno to communicate with my GSM SIM 900. So the uh, exact reason why I wrote this post or this video is because I often get confused on this subject whenever I use the software serial in ESP32. So I have here the same setup that I have with my Arduino Uno before, wherein there is my GSM SIM 900 and right this time I'm using the ESP32. So 
The only difference that I'm doing here is that I changed the microcontroller from an Uno into an ESP32 because I needed a uh, much powerful uh, microcontroller for my project. And for the program that I have used, uh, you would see that it is almost similar. The only thing that I have changed in this program is the pin assignment. So instead of the uh, pin 6 and pin 7 here for the Arduino Uno, I use the software serial for the pin 18. So one thing that confuses most of the beginners, uh, even myself also, uh, is that whenever I use the software serial in ESP32, uh, I often get confused that I don't need to import the software serial anymore. And then uh, when I compile the code, I encountered the issue that the software serial object is not uh, found or cannot be found in the system. You might be asking why the software serial is not included by default in any ESP32 platform. One reason that I could think of is that if you take a look at the GPIO pins of the ESP32, then you would notice that it already includes three UART ports that you can use for your serial communication needs. The exact reason why this thing happens is that if you have been using the Arduino ABR or any ABR-based project uh, microcontroller, so you would see that it uses the, the libraries that it includes already, it contains the software serial. So whenever you're using the software serial, you don't need to import the software serial. That's the difference between the ESP32 because the platform ESP32, it does not contain the software serial object so if you wanted to use the software serial object, then what you need to do is to include this library called the ESP software serial. It has the same uh, API interface with the uh, software serial object used by the Arduino Core ABR, but it's being used here for the ESP software serial implementation for uh, ESP32 and ESP8266. If you take a look at my platform I.O. in my platform.ini, I have already uh, included the dependencies for this uh, library, which is the ESP software serial, so that I can compile the main.cpp. Okay, so when we try to execute or monitor the project, then let's see what will happen. Click the monitor. And as you can see, the data is coming in from my SIM 900. So this information is coming from my SIM 900. And I am receiving the information through serial communication. So that's basically the topic for this uh, particular post. And it's quite simple, but I just wanted to take a mental note of the software serial object. So that's it for this project. So I hope you learned something. Happy exploring.